Here is your latest African news. Ethiopia. It was once pilots of imaginary surface-to-air fire in Ethiopia to detour business from Africa's largest aviation hub. The United States has warned pilots that planes operating out of Ethiopia's main international airport, one of the busiest in Africa, could be directly or indirectly exposed to ground weapons, fire or surface-to-air fire. The FFA advisory said that there had been no reports of disruptions, evidence at the airports, and no indication of an intent to threaten civil aviation. Still with no evidence provided, the FFA advisory said that TIG Orion fighters likely possesses a variety of anti-aircraft capable weapons and issued this devastating warrant based only on a hunch. Western media has on many occasions unfairly attacked Ethiopian's national carrier in a coordinated effort to discredit them. Burundi U.S. lifts sanctions on Burundi The U.S. has ended sanctions imposed against Burundi six years ago, citing reforms in the country. A statement by the U.S. Department of State noted that the President Joe Biden has revoked an executive order that authorizes the sanctions. It acknowledged last year's election that brought in President Evariste Ndayishimeye and the reforms he has pursued across many sectors. The U.S. and the U.N. imposed sanctions against Burundi in 2015, including visa restrictions and freezing of assets of key officials in the government. Western powers usually use sanctions as a tool to control economic destruction and war with many more African countries like Zimbabwe, Eritrea, Libya, Sudan, and Somalia, still suffering from various forms of sanctions. Kenya Kenyan students named winner in Elon Musk Prize A Kenyan team will be smiling all the way to the bank after they have been crowned winners of a prize from the U.S. billionaire Elon Musk's foundation. The team, Takashar Safi Organics, was awarded alongside 22 other teams drawn from around the world. The foundation has called for the team with concept for capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and oceans to make applications as part of the Carbon Removal Student Competition X Prize. Terms of the application included submission of concept for the carbon dioxide removal and measurement, reporting and verification technologies. The foundation, which seeks to award 100,000 million US dollars, has already given out more than 5 million to the winning teams. DRC New Congo Mountain Eruption Imminent One's volcanologist, the Nyamurajira Volcano, a close neighbor of the more famous Nirangungu in the east of the DRC, would experience an upcoming eruption, but a priori without any danger for the houses. The Ngomo Volcanological Observation said on Wednesday, Volcanologists also pointed out that unlike Nyarangangu, which directly threatens the cities of Goma and Jizenzi, the previous external eruptions of the Nyamuragira was directed into the Virangu Park towards nearby routes. Nyamurangira last erupted in 2011 and the volcano has been experiencing eternal activities since 2014. The last eruption of Nyirangangu, with lava flowing through cracks in the volcano's flanks, killed 32 people and destroyed several hundred homes on May 22nd. Less than four months later, lava had appeared in the crater, which for scientist director of OVG was rather good news, as the volcano has found a way to breathe. Somalia Somalia's electoral agency pushes for more women in parliament. Somalia's federal electoral agency has urged all regional polls supervisors to ensure that at, at least 30% of seats in the lower house go to women. In a letter to state electoral teams, the federal agency also published a table showing the number of legislators each state will vote for. Out of the total 275 MPs and the respective 30% women legislators, the 275 seats are shared between the five federal states and Binadir. Elections for the lower house, also known as the House of the People, were scheduled to begin on Tuesday with voting staggered until December 24th. However, the election did not take off. To get about 30% of women's MPs, the general rule is that every clan that votes for more than two MPs should elect at least one woman. Thank you for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show Africa in the News in our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember, Africa is watching.